Hi, in this video I would like to show you how to restore data from your Git backup with gitprotect.io. On the organizations panel choose an organization from which you want to restore data and click manage and restore. Here you will see all of the organization's backed up repositories. You can see the name of a repository, the status of a backup process for it, the date of the last backup and the date of the next one. On the right side there are also three buttons. The first one allows you to see the list of plans assigned to each repository. The second one takes you to the restore process, which we will go through in the second. And the last one allows you to see all of the repository details. It shows you the status, the usage of storage, all the plans assigned, the statistics for backup and restoration, and the notifications. Let's close the information tab and click the restore button of chosen repository. The restoration window will open. Here you need to choose from which backup plan you want to restore the repository. Then you can choose from each, which instance of a backup you want to restore data, choose one and click restore. Then you can choose which metadata you want to restore or you can choose to restore all of them. You can also restore this repository's wiki and LFS data to another existing repository. To do that, click Restore now on the corresponding panel. Then you can choose to which repository you want the wiki or LFS data to be restored. After you have chosen one, click Start now to begin the process. But coming back to the regular restore process, after you decide which data to restore, click Restore selected, or if you want to restore all, click Restore all. You can restore the repository to the original organization, but also to any other. You can also cross recovery between different Git services. You can also restore the repository to your device. For that, you will need to download the agent. Click the button download and proceed with the instruction. You can also create a custom name for the restored repository and decide if you want to add a label for the restored elements. Here you can also reduce the bandwidth that gitprotect.io can use to restore data. After you set all of that, click Start now and the restore process will start. If you want to restore more repositories, just select them or select all and at the top of the screen click Restore Selected. The rest of the process stays the same. There is also another way you can start the restoration process. Go to the Storages tab on the left side panel. Choose Storage and click the Folder button on the right. It will open a restore window. Then select the device to restore the data from. It will open a tab with the repositories that are backed up. Choose which one you want to restore. And the rest of the process looks exactly the same. And that's it. You have now successfully restored your repositories with gitprotect.io.